Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I will be talking about how can we parameterize a link service in ADF. Okay, so moving forward I would like to introduce my channel that is Geek Coders and here I have been publishing a playlist or we can say a videos on Azure Data Factory. So till now I have uploaded four videos that is set up free account in Azure portal then create and set up key vault then create blob storage and then at the last how to parameterize the data set okay in ADF so if you're liking my content do subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited so moving forward I will be telling you how what things we need to do in today's video so if I open my notepad then you can see we have our ADF and then we have to create a link service with the parameters so for an example you have one server okay you have one database for an example let's say for blob okay and we have multiple storage accounts over there right then how would you create a one one link service and and then how can you uh, connect with different storage accounts using one link service only so let's get started so what I will do, I will go to my portal. This is my portal. This is my storage account. And you can see I have two storage account over here. One is blob geek coder and second one is blob geek coder sync. If if I open this, then you can see I have one container. And for this, I have also one container that is sync. If I show you, if I go to containers option over here, then you can see we have sync okay now we have this adf and right now if i go to manage option right now i have a link service okay but links in link in this link service what i have given i have uh, you know i have given a static value okay it is not dynamic in nature and it is not parameterized so what i will do i will what i will do that you know keep this thing same this is this thing same and here in the connection string what I will do I will remove this and you can see here we have an option of add dynamic content then once I click on it I will have to uh, add this button and then give some name account name and then go to this save button it is done and then ok likewise we have to you know pass the account name and then we have to pass the storage account key but what i will do i will not fetch the data directly uh, i mean i will not write uh, write account key directly here rather than what i will do i will use a key vault feature so here i have to choose a link service because i will be using one single link service over here okay and then in the secret name also if you can see uh, we have a add dynamic content option over here and what I will do I will click on this plus button and I will write a secret then save and then I choose this secret parameter and click on ok button once it is done in secret version we should always use the latest version and then what I will do I will test connection I will test a connection okay so when when I click on test connection it will ask two things account name and secret so these account name and secret will will be passed in runtime so my account name is blob geek coders and the secret is the secret is stored in the key vault so what would I do I will go back to my portal and open a key vault I will I, I will open this access key and if I go to this read show keys button then I can copy the key of the blog geek coders storage account okay I will go back open my key vault and then I will go to my secrets We already have a blob secret and a blob secret key so I will uh, I will upload the value in the blob secret so let's go to plus new version option 
and then paste the key here. Once it is done, what I will do, I will copy this blob secret, okay, and then I will go back to my ADF and I will pass this value. Once I click on OK button, it should be succeeded, okay, it is done. So what is happening, what is happening, I would like to tell you that, you know, whenever, see, these two things are, are a parameter, okay, we will pass these two things in a runtime. So what is uh, what is happening whenever I am click on test connection, it will ask me do these two things and whenever we are passing these value here and here, then it will automatically come here and it will automatically go on and checking the connection or building the connection. Okay, so let me uh, let me save this and let me publish it. Okay, it is done. So uh, now, what will happen? What will we? What we will be doing is that uh, if I open the JSON here, then you can see in the connection string we are passing a link service dot account name, and in the secret name also we are passing a parameter called link service dot secret. Okay. So if I cancel this, and if I and if I want to connect. Oh, okay so what I will do I will uh, I will create a pipeline we already have a lookup pipeline over here so what I will do I will go to the setting button and since I do not have uh, okay we have a data set also right in the data set option if I open it and you can see we have a connection right and here we need to pass some value and the runtime so it will go and fetch the records from this link service Okay, so likewise, if I go back to my link service and if I want to connect uh, with the different, uh, you know, with a different storage account, then what would I do? I will give blog geek coders sync. Okay, because we have two, we have two storage account, and then if I go to my key vault and the and the you know the name of the secret is this. If I go back to my ADF, I would pass here the secret name of the uh, of this account. Okay, once I click on OK button, it should pass. It is done. Okay, so this is the way how can we connect? How can we connect? Uh, how can we create? A, you know, I, how can we create a single link service? Okay and how can we parameterize a link service so see right now i'm i'm taking this connection string option we can use this azure key vault also and if we, we have to choose the azure key vault option over here and likewise we have to choose we have to you know we we can create this secret name also over here okay this is the way one way i i'm i'm telling so right now see what we have two link service right so generally what we used to do we used to create two two data two two link service and two two data set so right now what we can do we can we can reduce a number of link service data set and activities moving forward i will tell you how can we parameterize a pipeline also okay so for today's it is so uh, i hope you guys are liking my videos if you do do subscribe and share